welcome to another episode of Pipes Around the World. Today, as promised from the last episode, we will um, talk about a pipe with Scottish origins. I have chosen a smaller stand for this one because it happens to be kind of a small pipe and you will see. So the story begins in 1880 with a guy named Charles Rattray. Now at the age of 23, he decided to buy a shop, a raggedy shop, and gave it the name the House of Rattray. He went on to blend tobacco for a while and became one of the premier tobacco shops in all of the British Isle. To this day, his tobacco is, is well known and some of the same recipes used back then more than a hundred years are still used today under the same name. Now he did so well that he decided that he wanted to go into the pipe making business. Uh, his shop was not set up to be a wood shop. So what he did was he would design the pipe and English carvers would carve the pipes for him. Now he went on to expand on this idea and hire pipe uh, carvers from Denmark, from France, uh, and even from Italy for some of his Meerschaum pipes. To this day that tradition continues and as you can see the Rattray line of pipes have different styles, uh, they have different shapes, and it's something that makes them quite unique. Now eventually this company uh, was bought by a German company, but they kept the traditions and uh, they even kept some of the Scottish uh, names uh, for the pipes that involve some kind of folklore. Uh, for example, there's a pipe named the Kelpie, which is named after a tale of a ghostly water horse that would uh, take people down under and have them for a banquet if they did not tame it correctly. Uh, there's also a pipe named uh, Stone of Scone, which is named after uh, a table uh, made out of that stone that was used uh, as a ceremonial table for the coronation of uh, Scottish royal families. So as you can see, they have kept the tradition, um, they have kept the style and the idea of using different uh, pipers, um, pipe carvers, and um, I bought the one called the Goblin, and I'm gonna show you a close-up of it right now. Okay, so this is the close-up. As you can see, a gorgeous box that it came in with the name, uh, the Goblin. If you, when you open the box, Oh, there it is. Other box also really nice. Inside has a card of the actual shop. And there's a signature there with a few words. And then the baggie that comes in is kind of neat because it has like a Velcro in the front. And here's the pipe. As you can see, gorgeous looking pipe. Has the name there. It's not carbonized in, inside, but that's fine. But I can't wait to try it. It's just small and cute, and I'm sure it's going to be a great smoke. It's also a, it takes a filter for those of you who like 9 millimeter filter. It takes that, it's out of focus, but all right. Well, I just wanted to show you a close up of it. There it is. So here I am enjoying my new pipe. As you can see, it just kind of fits really well on the chin and I rest on my beard.
quite comfortable. It's definitely going to become one of my favorite pipes shortly. Um, and just to uh, inaugurate it, I chose to have some Rat Trace Exotic Passion. I bought quite a few of this. I love the little tin it comes in and I love the smell of it. Even through the tin you can smell it. So I'm gonna enjoy my little pipe. As you can see, he needed a little stand because it's kind of a smaller pipe. So this will become my stand for the small pipes. And until next time, um, I like to include um, always the viewers to participate. So I've acquired some other pipes from other countries. Uh, if you like to comment below, would you like to see the next one be from Germany, Israel, or Japan? Uh, whatever which one gets the most vote that's the one that I will do next I will see you in the next episode and I'll just enjoy my new pipe bye